have one more poem uh, in the in the same vein uh, as understanding that uh, 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 breaking free from from uh, um, from these things that we've kind of like adopted as, uh, as a culture that may not always be good for us. Uh, I want to end on a on a on a positive on a positive note. So, in the beginning was the word, and the word was God, and the word was with God. So, when I'm speaking these words. This isn't poetic rhetoric, this is me trying to get back to the sentence from which I came. Love. Love is like two or three different more concrete emotions all rolled into one mass combined with flesh and speech to create man in the beginning of the word. Right? The word is love. Because God is love. So, I love you the way God does. Like forever. Like no end, because God, love, is infinite. And we were made in this image of infinite love, so in a search to find myself, not only had I never left, but I had been looking in the eye of I and I the entire time, just waiting on me to speak the words so the God in me could be revealed. This is self-love. This is what you need first before you go looking for God in someone else. So here's some questions. Like, if God sees all, how can love be blind? Or if I'm looking for a true love, does that mean I'm looking for a true God if in fact God is love? Or if God is love and this is true, how can we look up to find God but we fall into love? When do we learn to separate the two? Or if we make love and we form God inside the room, it's this. The never before explained immaculate conception of God and intercourse of universes colliding, planet verse, emitting verse of energy so far beyond known to flesh and bone that we put it on the throne. I've only known love to be that powerful, so it changed everything, changed the way I pray. Like, dear love, I guide you. <laughs> guide me as only you could. So many people run from you and mistreat the vessels in which they are contained because they are told to fear God, which makes them fear love. So they go through life never being able to understand God, never being able to feel love. Even church told me to fear God and ask why, how, how do I love you and fear you at the same time. It didn't make sense, so I had to be born again. I was dying to find you and so many, so many have died to find you and often we are too far gone so far gone that we can't even see where God is anymore and this is why we look for love in all the wrong places and in hopes that everyone finds their one true God in love's name I pray Amen Dang.